dozens are arrested in a violent crime roundup across our area. The crimes range from murder to drugs. WNCT's Josh Birch is digging into today's report and joins us now. Josh. Well, Angela, and all 61 people were arrested. Another 19 still wanted in this operation. The suspects coming from communities like Greenville, Winterville, Simpson, Snow Hill, and even Raleigh. The message, crimes at any level won't be tolerated. After months of work, Greenville police, along with other agencies, quickly rounded up criminals in the community. Many of the charges were drug related, something Greenville Police Chief Mark Holtzman says shouldn't be taken lightly. A lot of people look at street level drug violence and they think, you know, what, what are we accomplishing here? Are we really going after the ones that are doing the, the real crime, the shooting up, the robberies, the home invasions? The truth is yes. During the operation, thousands of dollars of cocaine, heroin, and marijuana were seized, along with five guns. Among those arrested, these four, with charges stemming from murder to possession of a firearm by a felon. Many charges stem from selling or possessing drugs near parks and schools. So very accessible to drug dealing that may be taking place in those areas. So it's one of the focuses for this operation. 19 people are still wanted, including these nine, all being charged with selling drugs near parks or schools, something concerning to community members. It's hurting our children, our teenagers. It probably hurts all of society. And it's really bad if it gets near the schools, into the schools. Diane Kulik believes operations like this helps to improve the relationship between the community and police. Chief Holtzman says their work is far from over, though. We're not going to get uh, detailed exactly where uh, we were focusing all of our efforts on, but uh, we went where the, the work took us, and that took us in all neighborhoods. In all, 400 warrants were served on the three-day operation. If you'd like to see those arrested or help police find those still on the run, we put all that information on our website, WNCT.com. Josh Birch, not on your side.